So today at City Council, as we continue to move through our, our budget and we continue to support our services through various contracts and so forth, but today's pretty special because we're having the final reading on uh, one of the new gun ordinances that require folks to report stolen guns and if they don't they could be fined and we found that over 70 percent of the guns that we are recovering are stolen out of vehicles and homes that have been unreported and this helps the police officers track and trace and figure out how to connect different crimes together so that we can make sure that those folks who are committing these crimes really do spend time uh, to pay and get receive the punishment that they deserve, but it also gets these guns off the street. We're we're 31 percent high today on shootings in Columbia. That's 31 percent over last year. This is not a good pace moving forward. So we really want to change that as we we continue to do things like investing time and effort in in researching ordinances you know looking at fines testifying in court but also looking at the office of gun violence prevention investing in different programs with different community partners to really make a difference to to create a safe environment in columbia south carolina I think the second thing that we're moving forward on, which is exciting, is reducing the minimum requirement for parking um, in our commercial corridors, trying to encourage development and growth. When you look at the amount of empty parking lots that we have, if we had new development there, not only are we creating a higher tax base of better use, but we're bringing buildings that will be up to code and landscape and taking advantage uh, of creating opportunities that are just sitting in every corridor. You know, when you think about how it will enhance our community, how it opens up the door for opportunities, how it, the beautification of our community. Um, next time you ride around, take a look at how many empty lots there and uh, imagine what it could look like if there was a storefront there with a small business downstairs and families living upstairs and people out socializing and walking, the connectivity, we talk a lot about connectivity, that's one way we, we create that.